Another insight brought to you by Activate Wellness. It may seem like a notion straight out of a fairy tale, but the reality is that dying from a broken heart can be an actual fact. This phenomenon is known as Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, a temporary heart condition that resembles a heart attack. It is characterized by the sudden weakening of the left ventricle, the chamber of the heart responsible for pumping blood to the rest of the body, in response to emotional or physical stress, such as the death of a loved one, a traumatic event, or severe illness. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, also known as stress cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome, is not a well-understood condition, but it is believed to be caused by a sudden surge of stress hormones, such as adrenaline, which can alter the normal functioning of the heart. The term, Takotsubo, comes from the Japanese word for octopus trap, as the condition was first described in Japan and the affected heart muscle resembles the shape of an octopus trap. Symptoms of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy typically mimic those of a heart attack, including chest pain, shortness of breath, and an irregular heartbeat. In some cases, the condition may also cause fainting or dizziness. Unlike a heart attack, however, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy does not result in permanent damage to the heart muscle or blockages in the coronary arteries. Diagnosis of Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is typically made through a combination of medical history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests such as an electrocardiogram, ECG, echocardiogram, and blood tests. An ECG can show the characteristic changes in the heart's electrical activity, while an echocardiogram can show the characteristic changes in the shape and function of the heart. Treatment for Takotsubo cardiomyopathy typically involves supportive care, such as rest and stress management, to allow the heart to recover. In some cases, medication may be prescribed to treat symptoms or prevent complications, such as blood clots or heart failure. In severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary. Most people with Takotsubo cardiomyopathy make a full recovery within a few weeks or months. However, the condition can recur in some individuals, particularly in response to subsequent stressful events. Regular follow-up with a healthcare provider is recommended to monitor the recovery process and to identify any potential complications. In conclusion, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a temporary condition that affects the heart in response to emotional or physical stress. It can cause symptoms similar to those of a heart attack, but does not cause permanent damage to the heart muscle. Treatment typically involves supportive care and medication, and most people make a full recovery within a few weeks or months. By understanding this condition, we can help to raise awareness of the importance of managing stress and seeking prompt medical attention if symptoms of a heart attack are present. Remember, if you like this video to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.